technically sound, all those things. But every day we're just looking at our identity. Our identity is not for the label. Our, we have our own identity that we want to create. Standard, the ceiling is blown off. And we want to see the identity in terms of how hard we play. Our effort, every down, our pursuit. And within that now is everybody has to know their job. You're not a coordinated defense if one guy's uncoordinated. How does the turnover chart look so far? In We've this been training doing a good camp? job. Yeah. It's been very good. I, I, it's been, been one of our better camps uh, for a while, a long time. And they're after it, they're working at it. And it, to be really an elite deep, that's what's got to come. You know, you got to do all the things we've been doing and the effort and all that. But you got to be stripping it, you got to sack fumble it, and sometimes it's a contact fumble by hitting. And those guys in that back end, in terms of trying to force some more interceptions, is there anything consciously you, can you do? Yeah, or get is a it better rush. Mm. <laughs> right, 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 right. It's on yeah. your guys up front. Because right? it starts in the pocket. Probably 65, 68% I can, of, the, of all takeaways start in the pocket. Either sack fumble of the quarterback, a tip ball, or he throws it maybe just a little bit earlier than he wants to, which allows those guys to break and make plays. And they're doing a great job. The back row is just breaking on the ball, and it's all rush and cover cover and rush it were it's a team thing okay if the rush isn't humming it, you're not going to get them we're putting those guys in a bad situation and you say that 65 percent that's something you guys have say charted. what when you say that 65 percent of the plays are, that's I something that you guys have I charted. do it in the off season okay. yeah I, there's those are numbers that come up and it usually all in the high 60s you high know was that did you chart last season coach or did you go back further? As, uh, just nationally I go through it what where are the turnovers happening what, yeah. what's causing them and it's, it's usually starting the pocket. Was that last year's number you said that's around 68? I think it was 68%. Okay. And it, I've kind of looked at it over the years. So mm -hmm. so I would, you try to do is put an emphasis on the rushers got to come. They, they got to come. And, you know, it's, and a lot of times you don't get there, but the clock's in the quarterback's head. He's throwing it now, which allows the break and the coverage to work together. What have you thought about what you've seen from Dorrance Armstrong? Yeah, I thought so far, good solid work. What else does he need to show you to get in just that keep rotation? doing just keep working a long camp okay I like consistency day in and day out day in and day out and that's uh, we don't uh, know uh, we're not making situational things in terms of who's player right now it's about who wants to play and that's what I want to see and he gets opportunities it's like Barry Bonds in baseball right you get that cut you get that one cut you got to hit it and uh, that's the deal for every guy in here can he play both left and right yep. He can play both sides. He can play some inside on third down. Okay. He's done that before. How, so, how would you gauge what you've seen from Malik Collins in oh, the yeah. offseason and into this camp? You know, this is, I've heard the word, oh, he's in a contract year. No, that's not true. He is a contract year. He's played like this every year, except his feet. Okay, every camp he's came to, he's had an injury. One camp he didn't had a terrific camp three years ago, right? Ago. But uh, this guy's a pride. He's got pride and he's got character. And we've seen that that snap he had at Nebraska, and now he's healthy, staying. He's just got to keep, you know, lean and his feet and all those things, you know. And he's done a great job of that in the off season, getting in sand, running, breaking all those things. So he, he's really he's been solid in this camp. Really, he showed up. Do you have a number in mind for your defense in the scrimmage for takeaways, or how are you going to measure success this afternoon? I think uh, every, uh, you know, I don't know if you can go by numbers, but I, by opportunities. If a runner's running, you got an opportunity right there. Every time we have, every snap, we have an op opportunity to punch something out, okay? Now, right now, we can't hit the quarterback for the sack fumble, so those are tougher in the pocket right now. We can get around him, hopefully make the ball come out a little bit quicker, but it's a day-to-day -day thing, day-to-day -day thing. What in general, though, are you looking for out of the scrimmage for the for, for your defense? I want to see, you know what to do, okay? I want to see how hard you can play, okay? And your technique. None of those take any talent, okay? It's mindset, and I'm all about mindset. Do the things that take no talent, okay? And when you do those things and you have talent, you become really good, DeMarcus Lawrence. When you do those things and you have talent, you take off. If your talent is limited a little bit, you can make an impact for us. Jack Crawford, when he's here, Terrell. All we've had a lot, George Selby, had guys like that that played at that level. So that's how the guy can create longevity in his career. <coughs> Learn how hard you play and take, do the things that take no talent. And then you got a chance to be really good. And you get more talent, 
And the worst thing happens, you get more talent and they back off on those things. Then you stink. <laughs> 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 Thanks, Coach.